Hello everybody, it's Stippling, and I have another BrickLink haul. This haul is small. It's a tiny little box that I got, and it came to me really fast after I ordered it, maybe two or three days, so that was great. This particular order is from a seller named CMJ Bricks. Let's go ahead and open it up, and we'll talk more about what's inside. That was easy. So we've got some nicely wrapped parts here. Let's go ahead and take them out of the box. There isn't all that much to this order because I was only shopping from the seller for one particular item. Now this is great. They're all wrapped in individual bags, so easy to sort. This is gonna be very convenient for me. So let's start off with why I made this order. And that is located inside here. This mask, that is awesome. So for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that my self-mock Stepalu has an animal companion named Frenic. Now Frenic is based on my real-life dog, who has a somewhat similar name. And the mock I used in his video showcase wasn't really a good reflection of who my dog actually is. Uh, it didn't really look like him, the face was way off. This is so much closer. It's uncanny, it's almost as if someone printed a part that was made to be my dog. Wrong color, obviously, and I don't have a silver-colored dog, but in terms of the face, the structure, the features, that is dead on. This was the only seller I could find thus far that sold this part new, and he only had two in stock, and I got them both. Actually reviewing this part up close, it, it looks like the fact that it's new is kind of a misconception. It's more of like new. I can see some wear and tear on it, so in that regard, I'm not all that happy, but that's also why I bought two so that way I can pick which one I like the best. In addition, I bought some other parts that I didn't necessarily need, but either wanted or had some kind of interest in. I've never had any of these uh, 2.0 Hero Factory heads, so I wanted to buy a couple and maybe see if I can use them in some mock of some sort. I got two in orange and two in white. Now this white also doesn't look very new, and if you look at the inside there, it's quite dirty. So in that regard, I feel as though I was deceived. These are not new. They are the polar opposite of new. They are used. And that's not cool. I also bought a small sampling of upper limb bone pieces in black. Hero Factory occasionally use these upper bone pieces in black, whereas in the Bionicle line, they only seem to come in gray. So I wanted to have a couple in black, and I bought them. This is the standard length, no additional pins in there. Similarly in black, we have this Hero Factory I think it was used as like a shield or a replacement for a hand, depending on which series we were looking at. But I've got two of these. They have attached via ball joint there, and have these attachments also. And I got two in black. I never seem to have enough Technic ball joints, so I bought even more. All of these you see here are the through axle version, where an axle can go completely through. And then the three you see here have no axle through. Uh, I tend to like these better when I don't have a axle with stopper, and I tend to like these better when I do have an axle with stopper. Another Technic element, some of these triangular Technic pieces. I'm always running low on them, so it was nice to get some more. Again, these seem dirty to me, and that is not pleasing. I bought new specifically to avoid that. Some more Hero Factory goodness, four of these spike bits that attach to armor shells. Uh, these are the really, really rubbery kind. Another more unusual color for bone pieces, we have these extra long upper limb pieces. These are in light gray. This is the first time I've ever had any kind of bone piece in light gray. Cool. More of that which is silver, we have some size 4 armor shells in silver. I used a lot of these lately, so I grabbed a couple more to refill. And more Borak eyes to add to my collection, all in silver. I've been using these like crazy too because these fit on pretty much every Bionicle mock I do. So now I have a little bit more. Hopefully they're not as dirty and used as some of this other stuff. Two black Technic pulley wheels. These can be used for lots of things. We've seen them used as ammo clips. I've also used them in mocks as pulley wheels. Infinite possibilities there. Okay, last bag has a mix of parts. We have these really old school Hero Factory armor attachments. These were nicknamed Villain Cores back in the day. And they are just good coverage and additional texturing for armor. And I got three of them. One, two, and three. I finally took apart my Ferno XL recently. It was the only Hero Factory 
official set I still had built. I really liked the way it looked, so I kept it around on display. But when I finally took it apart, it only had one red hand. So when I saw this shop had red hands, I bought one, and then I thought, what if I need more? So now we've got three. That evens out things. Another Hero Factory mask from the same year, this was Raka's mask, and it's supposed to be a lion. And I feel like I could do some kind of Rafi with this. So this will be really nice to have. So that's everything I purchased. It was 69 items, and the cost for everything, including shipping, was $20.48. That price is a little steep because the initial order was only $13.68. But this was shipped to me very quickly, so I do appreciate that. However, paying 50% of the total cost in shipping can seem kind of excessive. I don't typically make a habit of commenting on Bricklink sellers, but I feel like in this case, because I was deceived in the new quality, I'm a little bit disappointed and I cannot recommend CMJ Bricks to purchase that. You don't know if what you're getting is in fact new or if it's used. As I'm a stickler for quality in my parts, I am very unhappy with this purchase in general, so I'm going to have to go through each part and decide whether or not it is quality enough to keep. Um, in particular, those uh, white Hero Factory heads. Not only are they dirty, but they're discolored, so we'll have to do some cleaning with that. I'm pretty certain I can recover or salvage all of these parts to my standards, but we'll just have to take a look and see. Sorry for that little bit of a rant at the end, I'm just a little disappointed. But anyways, I appreciate everyone watching, I hope you enjoyed looking at this small collection of parts, and as always, thanks for watching.